and just this is just going to be a quick little review. But you guys get 30 degrees, and most people got 30 degrees relatively simple, easily. But let's just kind of go through some major angles we should know. So if we're looking at an x and y axis, all right. Many of you found 30 degrees to be like right there, right? Mm, that's pretty good. Um, now, let's just kind of go through some of the basic ones that we can define and make sure we know where our angles are. We know that this creates a 90 degree angle. So from here to here would be 90 degrees, right? From here to here is what we call the straight angle, right? It makes a line, which we represented as 80 degrees, which is basically 90 plus 90, right? It's two right angles. If we were to continue that again all the way around, we basically just add again another 90 degree angle to 180, and that gives us 270. And then our famous, for making a lovely circle, is going to give us an angle of 360 degrees, right? A revolution basically making up a circle. And again, you can look at that circle as 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90, right? And that's how we get our 360. So, those are one angles that we should just rep remember because if we're sketching anything in degrees, we're going to want to use those as kind of our bearings.